What's up guys? My name is Kenny the Dues Van Duzer, and I was tasked by a good friend of mine to review drumsticks for you today. So what I did was go online and go on a website called howtomusicindustry.com and they gave me a list of the 13 most popular drumsticks of 23. So what I did, I bought them all. I said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up a pair of hi-hats and a snare drum, just test them out, see what we like, see what we dislike. Let's get into it. So first pair is Vic Verth, American classic 5A drumstick. This, I would say, is probably one of the most popular sticks out there. Uh, I know I've been playing with them for years. You can get these online. I bought everything on Amazon. They're $14.99 on Amazon. And what is really nice is they have an acorn tip, which I've always been a fan of acorn tips. They really have a nice tone. So let's, uh, let's test these bad boys out, see what they're like. So just like I've always remembered, I love that 5A is not too heavy. A lot of times I have to sort of tone back my sound. And so I'll play a lot of 7As, you know, some of the lighter sticks. What's great is they have some weight to them. So depending how hard you hit, the stick will more than compensate for that. But they just have a nice feel throughout the stick. There's not one side that's too heavy. They're nice and rounded. And I think they're capable of any situation, whether you're playing some soft jazz gigs or you're playing festivals outdoors. So these are the Vic Verth 5As. So another Vic Verth stick. This is the Extreme 5A. So I've never played with these before. They're actually the same price as the 5As, Vic Verth family. So the Extreme 5A I'm noticing is a little thicker and also a little longer. So it'd be kind of nice if you have some setups where you need to reach uh, some toms. So yeah, they just feel a little bit thicker. Let's try these out. Oh yeah. So right away, I had to work a little bit harder on these. I think uh, they're a nice stick. I think I just prefer the 5As, but they are decent if you're looking, like I said, for a little bit more stick. Compared to the 5A, the 5A is a little bit skinnier towards the top, but towards the shoulder, these are definitely a lot thicker. So extreme 5A, it's kind of funny that there's a little bit more stick here, but they're the same price. But that's really great. All right. Continuing with the Vic Verth family, we have the NE1, the Vic Verth NE1. I've actually had some students get these sticks, just like the other two Vic Verths. They are the same price, $14.99. Looking at these sticks, you see how they have a barrel tip, which is kind of cool, might have a little bit sharper sounds than the acorn. And these sticks, I definitely can tell are a little bit lighter. I believe these were made by Mike Johnson. Yeah, I think it's Mike Johnson. And he made these sticks for students in mind. So that way, you know, if you're looking for like a, a decent first pair of sticks, you're not sure what to get into, maybe for the older student just beginning, you can grab these sticks, you can sort of grow with them. So they definitely feel lighter and I love that. So let's see how these sticks sound.
These are cool. Because they feel so light, I understand why people have been calling them beginner drumsticks. They feel tiny in my hands, but I'm not a skinny man. I think that these are pretty good. Like I said, they're on the lighter side, so you might have to compensate a little bit, but they're still a very nice stick. I love the bead tip. So I say, if you're also looking for solid lighter pair, maybe for practicing indoors or for someone starting out, give the any ones a try. I think they're, they're solid. We have, ah, uh, Zildjian. These are the hand dip seven A's, a hickory stick. These are a dollar more. They're $15.99. I usually don't like sticks with grip. It can be nice. I find that I like grips if I'm if I'm playing for a few hours. It just kind of helps relieve some of the pressure. So right away, definitely a nice rubbery grip. Because they're a 7A, they're a nice, I think, jazzy stick. So let's give these a try. So I think the last time I played with these sticks, they were given to me as a gift, I think in middle school. I'm not gonna lie, it's been that long. And like I said, a decent stick. I think I, I wish that there was a little bit more cushion, but that's just a preference thing. These sticks, I would probably take if if the sound guy's like, hey, you're being a jerk right now. You kind of need to you tone it back. But for the price and for Zildjian, for Zildjian sticks, solid choice. Moving to the Vader family. These are the Vader Power 5B. They're only slightly more expensive at uh, $18.99. And because they're a 5B, it's it's a thick boy. It's, uh, you know, I, I think 5B, I think like, okay, this is a hefty stick, you know, harder playing. Right away, I can actually tell there's a little bit more weight towards the front and it has the barrel tip. So definitely it'll, it'll be great for if you're trying to play a little bit louder. Let's test these really quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I felt like I was holding these sticks back as I was playing with them. It's crazy. I don't play with many sticks that actually seem to have more weight in the front. It could be just me, but these are powerful. So with Vader, I've usually stuck with the 7As and 5As with sticks or their, their specialty sticks like brooms, you know, for like the, the more intimate stuff. If you're looking for a, a good set of stick that feels good in your hands, that's heavier, and you want more weight towards the front of the stick, I think these are a solid choice. Like I said, get these on Amazon, $18.99. The next sticks are the On Stage brand. So, these are probably the most cost efficient. They're the best budget option. You can get them for $7.95 on Amazon. In fact, I had to buy these in a local music shop around here, Brighton Music, huge shout out. Playing with these sticks, they're a little bit cheaper. And so you can buy them in a pack for like 15 bucks, which is great if you're just looking for sticks to practice that you can absolutely destroy, grab another pair. So let's try these out.
Yeah. Decent. I think I played with the 7A. These are good. The only th issue that I might see is that because they're cheaply made, I know I play on uh, I play on the rims a lot. I do a lot of, of rim clicks, and I know that they might wear a little bit faster than some other brands. But like I said, decent option because you can get a whole pack of them for close to 15 or, or 20 bucks when you're paying that much for a pair of sticks. Um, so if you're looking for the cheapest option, on stage brand. <laughs> the most adorable pair of sticks I think I have ever come across. These are the Vic Verth Kid Sticks. Believe it or not, they are $8. Yeah, they are $8. But I can tell right away that they're a solid pair. Like obviously, I would say maybe six years old or younger for these because they're so small. By the time they get to be six or seven years old, they're gonna be looking probably for, for bigger sticks. But these were on the list for parents that want their kids to be drummers and like, look at them. They come in blue or pink. And I think I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't buy the pink. Um, maybe if I ever have kids someday. So I, I think these I'm just excited to try to play with. So let's see what happens. <laughs> I love these things. Maybe if I'm playing in a car. <laughs> if I'm playing in a car or something like that. So if anyone is watching this and you have, if you have little ones and you're like, okay, I, I want them to be a drummer, which I highly encourage. Vic Worth Kid Sticks, you can get them for cheap. They'll last them for a few years. Love it. Another stick on the list, Promark Firegrain. So these are about $16.99 on Amazon. These are the Forward 7As. I know for a fact they make a 5A, a 5B, and I believe a 2B, but I could be wrong on that. So I, I would call myself a Promark guy. I love their sticks. I usually play with the, the Shirakashi Oak, but these fire grain ones, they're super light. So the process of the fire grain is they burn it so that way they're a little bit more durable than a regular stick of hickory or maple. These are great sticks, but definitely more for indoor. If you want to use these sticks and you wanna maybe try to get heavier sticks, I would definitely try to go for the 5As or 5Bs. Plus, I'm not gonna lie, I think these look the coolest. I mean, it just looks so beautiful. Plus, I'm a Promark guy, so I I definitely love them if, if I need to be if I'm playing indoors, conscious of sound, this is probably what I'm going to pick up. So yeah, Promark Firegrain. We have Promark Hot Rods. These things are awesome. They're a little bit on the pricier side. They're $24.99, but if you are looking for something between a stick and a brush, these are the way to go. They aren't going to be as sharp as a, as a regular drumstick would be, but if you're looking for just kind of a generic sound that's very soft, these are the way to go. So let me try these out for you.
yeah, these are a little bit chewed up because I got these from my drum bag. Wasn't able to buy these in time. Um, these are fantastic. There's a lot of times where these sticks have saved my life just because they're like, well, we need you to be softer. But I was like, okay, I don't want to play with brushes though. Um, the only thing is that depending on how hard you hit, they will uh, break a little bit easier. I can already tell that there's a couple missing in the rod here. But like I said, I think that if you're serious about drumming, every drummer should have a pair of these in their stick bag. They just help you out in any situation where you might need them. Plus, because they're not as sharp as a drumstick, it might give you a unique sound that you're looking for. From Mark Hot Rods. So, Minel stick and brush. These are the 7As, hybrid 7A, made out of hickory. Uh, they are $10.99 on Amazon, and I hadn't heard about them until this year. I think they're a fairly new company. I was really excited to, to try them. I've known them for their symbols and, and some of their specialty, but not really for their drumsticks. So I'm curious to see how these will sound. They're not bad. To me, this is probably one of the softest sticks I've come across. They just have a softer feel and they have the 7A. Like I said, I love the bead tip. If you're looking for a solid stick that might not be as hard as the other brands, they're decent. Plus Minel, they've been a brand for years and so I might try to uh, give some of the other sticks a try. Minel stick and brush makes the switch stick 5A. These are a little bit pricier at $19.99, but what I like is that it has mallets on one side. I know I play in a lot of musicals where I have to go from drum set and then flip them around, have a crash cymbal spot, and I know that some other sticks, the, the mallet heads are a little bit harder, but I'm feeling right away that these are a lot softer in case you need to have those cymbal swells. And a 5A, decent drumstick, let's give these a shot. Yeah, I probably won't be playing mallets on uh, on the drum, but if you want, like I said. Not a bad option. These are a little heavier. They're a 5A, but what I like is that they are a little bit longer, so that way when you're holding the stick, the mallet isn't in the way. I know I've had some other sticks like this and they, you're kind of holding it by the mallet end when you're playing. But these are nice because you can choke up on the stick a little bit, still play, and then like I said, switch them and you can play cymbal or timpani with them. So yeah, if you're in the market for a multi-stick, this is the way to go. The... The stick that I was interested in the most ahead. I am not going to lie. I didn't have much confidence in this stick whatsoever. I usually 
am kind of a snob when people suggest aluminum sticks. But then after doing more research, they're pretty cool. What's great about uh, head drumsticks, these are the Tommy Lee version. And while on the heavier side, they, they're a little bit costly. They are, I think, $34, but you can completely replace the stick. You can actually buy separate tips. You can buy separate covers and grips. So if one of your tips breaks, you can just buy another tip. You can unscrew this one, put another one on, and it might actually save you some money compared to if you have a wood stick, you break the tip off, ruins the stick. This is the first time trying them, and these are the most interesting, I think. So let's, uh, let's see how they sound. Wow, these are a hefty stick. I, like I said, I like the grip. I like, so this is another stick where there's a little bit more weight in the front. So I might have to do a little bit work, but if you are looking for a stick that you can just bang the crap out of the drums, these might be what you're looking for. I know that there are different sizes, they have their 7As, their 5As, and they have some specialty sticks. I think that you can even get a mallet and put it on this stick. So if you use a head drum sticks, I'm sorry that I was a snob before. Maybe these aren't as bad as, as I thought that they were. What's kind of cool is they claim that when you're hitting the cymbal, They'll actually save your cymbals a little bit more. They said they're gonna last a little bit more and they're a little bit kinder to your cymbals. Just for me, I don't really play with nylon tips. I've always kind of prefer a, a wood sound on a cymbal. If you're looking for some sticks where you're like, I'm just going through too many wood sticks. I myself might try to find some ahead sticks, maybe try some different ones. These are really cool. I think they're awesome. I know that the, the grip actually feels kind of nice. So if I'm playing with them for a while, I know Lars Ulrich, Ulrich, Ulrich from Metallica, he uses a head sticks and he has used them for years. He loves them. Head drum sticks might be, uh, might be something I want to try to look into. So that's it for the regular sticks. There was one more pair at the end of this list that I I questioned whether or not I should buy these, but I did anyway. And that is the <laughs> Promark <laughs> giant drumsticks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was probably the most excited for these because the how ridiculous they are i all right we're gonna try to play these this is gonna be terrible because there's almost as thick as baseball bats <laughs> here we go <laughs> Oh, if you want a good forearm workout, this is the way to go. <laughs> Obviously, these are not meant to be seriously played, unless you're playing a taiko drum. They are three feet in length. They're really thick. I could probably defend my home from an intruder with these. And to tell you the truth, 
I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them. Probably hang them up somewhere, you know? It's a novelty item. Or I also teach drums. I could just kind of use them to threaten kids. Don't fire me. Anyway, <laughs> so if you are looking for just a gag gift and you're like, how can I make a drummer's life ridiculous? Uh, buy them these sticks. They are a little bit pricey. They're actually on the, uh, the head sticks are as much of them. They're about 40 bucks on Amazon. Uh, like I said, solid stick. Don't think you want to be playing drums with them. Like I said, I think the snare was like, dude, you're a jerk when I was playing, but that is the top sticks from that article. If you want to check that article out, it was a uh, how to music industry uh, drumsticks and they break them down a little bit more. And I hope that this video has been useful. I know I had a good time and thank you for joining me. Catch you later.